Hey there, folks. Welcome back. Well, if you're looking for something fun to do this weekend and you've got an appetite, we've got you covered. Yes, the Deerish Food Festival is in town, and don't worry about the rain. It's actually an indoor event, and here to talk with us is Ricky Smitchell. Ricky, she's one of our organizers. Tell us a little bit about what people can expect this year. Some great food. We have um, yesterday they started the brisket, and it's going mm. to slow cook today for about seven hours. Ooh. We have cabbage rolls, corned beef sandwiches, matzo ball soup, and we'll also have other assortment of dishes. We also have a sweet shop where our congregants come together mm -hmm. and make sweets. We'll have a silent auction and we will have um, uniformed officers for security. We've also made contingency plans for our line where they, they have mm -hmm. to wait mm -hmm. outside. We've got big tents oh, great. for people to wait in, un, underneath in case it rains. And so Ricky, um, you know, you guys have been doing this for almost four decades. Yes. This is a 38th annual. Talk to me about how this event got started and what it is today. Well, it started out as a freezer sale and um, people would come to pick up their food on a certain day and then someone said, why don't we serve sandwiches on that day? And it has just ballooned into, we no longer have a freezer sale, it's all about the fresh food. Yeah. And I hear every year it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and more as more people hear about it. And as someone who is not afraid to try new foods, mm -hmm. um, what do you recommend people trying first out of all the foods? The cabbage rolls and the brisket plate. Uh, I, it's a toss up. We, my husband and I get both plates and we share. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. Well, I'm, I'm not going to probably dip into that on TV. No. But, but everything is. But I do here. want to try one of the pastries. Yeah. So yes. You want this to try one with me, Javi? I, I will. Yes. And mandel bread and Ooh. the famous black and white cookies. Ooh, what's with the black and white cookie? I really don't know. But <laughs> it's a Jewish thing. Yeah. And so, Ricky, real quick, what I want to emphasize on is, you know, it, it's really important. You know, we, we've had uh, several fest festivals. Last week we had the Greek mm -hmm. food festival. Uh, uh, this weekend we're going to have the Jewish food festival. And for people who are not familiar with uh, the foods. Uh, of, of the Jewish people, you know, it's great to go out there and just experience, uh, you know, have your palate ready and, and yes. experience these new foods, right? Correct. These are um, recipes handed down. It's Lador Vador called Generation to Generation. Wow. So these recipes have been handed down. I look forward to handing them down to my grandkids mm -hmm. and making these with them. And it's just a, a family. We The congregation comes together to put on this event for our Corpus Christi community. And that's what I was going to say. The, the money that um, raised through this, what does it go to? It goes back towards our congregation. We, uh, it's The sisterhood sponsors it, but we raise the money for our congregation for operating expenses and various projects throughout the year. And real quick, tell everyone where they can go to the Jewish Food Festival it's and the Times. at, at uh, Congregation Beth Israel 440 to Saratoga, and it's right in the middle between Everhart and Weber, mm -hmm. and 5 to 9 on Saturday and 11 to 2 on Sunday. Well, right? it's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you Thank so, you much, so much, Ricky. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. I'm going to try, one, try one, one of these. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you all so much. And I was so chewing much. with the mic on. I'm like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, folks. Thank you so much. Everything that you caught here, you can catch on ChrisTV.com.